Yahusha, Joshua 2. And Yahusha, the son of Nun, set out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view at the land, even at Yariko. And they went and came into a harlot's house named Rachav and lodged there. And it was told the king of Yericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Yasharael to search out at the country. And the king of Yericho sent unto Rachav, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to you, which are entered into your house. For they have come to search out at all the country. And the woman took at the two men, and hid them, and said thus, There came men unto me, but I knew not whence they were. And it came to pass, about the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark, that the men went out. Whither the men went, I know not. Pursue after them quickly, for ye shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order upon the roof. And the men pursued after them the way to the Yardan unto the fords. And as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof. And she said unto the men, I know that Yahuwah has given you eth the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard eth how Yahuwah dried up eth the water of the Red Sea for you, when ye came out of Mitzrayim, and what ye did unto the two kings of the Emorim that were on the other side of the Yardan, Sichon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard, rather, had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For Yahuwah Elohechem, he is Elohim in heaven above and in earth beneath. Now therefore, I pray you, swear unto me by Yahuwah, since I have showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true sign, and that ye will save alive at my father, and at my mother, and at my brethren, and at my sisters, and at all that they have, and deliver at our lives from death, And the men answered her, Our life for yours, if ye utter not this eth our business. And it shall be, when Yahuwah has given us eth the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with you. Then she let them down by a cord through the window, for her house was upon the town wall, and she dwelt upon the wall. And she had said, rather, she said unto them, Get you to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you, and hide yourselves there three days, until the pursuers be returned. 
and afterward may ye go your way. And the men said unto her, We will be blameless of this your oath, which you have made us swear. Behold, when we come into the land, you shall bind at this line of scarlet thread in the window, which you did let us down by. And you shall bring at your father, and at your mother, and at your brethren, and at all your father's household, home unto you. And it shall be that whosoever shall go out of the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be upon his head, and we will be guiltless. And whosoever shall be with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head, if any hand be upon him. And if you utter this eth our business, then we will be free of your oath, which you have made us to swear. And she said, According unto your words, so be it. And she sent them away, and they departed. And she boundeth the scarlet line in the window. And they went and came unto the mountain and abode there three days until the pursuers were returned. And the pursuers sought them throughout all the way, but found them not. So the two men returned and descended from the mountain and passed over, and came to El Yahusha, the son of Nun, and told him eth all things that befell him, rather them. And they said unto El Yahusha, Truly, Yahuwah has delivered into our hands eth all the land, for even all the inhabitants of the country do faint, because of us.